Hello there, trying to share more regular peeks into my everyday makeup bag this year, so it's suddenly time for another look. As much as I like to swap items in and out and try new formulas as part of my job, I often fall into a routine with regular products holding their spot for a while. This is a snapshot of products I enjoyed during the tail end of Australian summer and a warm autumn here, so the shades fit summer starting in the Northern Hemisphere too. I'm hoping to catch a little bit of summer up there, so I'm sure there'll be more warm weather peaks on my channel. This is a reliable, fast, fresh-faced line up with easy creamy formulas as usual. You will have seen from my makeup favourites last year and the last few everyday makeup bag episodes that Merit has become a main ingredient in most of my makeup recipes. I was so excited to get to work with them last year and I'm thrilled to team up again. Part of this video is in paid partnership with the brand. I know so many of you enjoy their minimal makeup approach to it feels like grown up minimal makeup and ticks every box for me. Lightweight, natural, skin like, sheer, blendable, buildable formulas, skin loving ingredients that don't clog pores and are suitable for all skin types, cruelty free, fragrance free, vegan, recyclable packaging, a really luxurious experience at a price point below luxury brands. People always ask about their signature bag and it ships free with every first purchase on their site, plus free shipping over $40 and free returns. Several of their formulas have been a semi-permanent part of my makeup bag for about a year, but there are some great new shades to talk about. Let's go! Merit's The Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick was one of my 2022 favourites as a fast, all-over skin fix and hasn't left my makeup bag about half a year later. It isn't strictly foundation or concealer, but it can be both with light to medium coverage in 20 shades. I wear June. Everything I want in a quick skin enhancing stick, creamy, seamless, breathable, skin-like. I stripe it on like whiskers around my nose, forehead and chin, and it's creamy enough to build and use as a spot concealer on good skin days too. Mine's old, but last year they updated the packaging and added almost twice as much product for the same price. Always blend it with Merit's brush number one. There's just something about her number one brush in the group. And you know, it takes a lot for me to care about brushes because I love applying makeup with my fingers, but this looks like that. A natural fingertip sort of finish from these dense, super soft synthetic bristles. That can be base, concealer, and under eyes done in one. I personally need a really rosy toned brightening fluid under my eyes, so I've been finishing off an old YSL Touche Clar before beginning a broader under eye brightener search since Chanel discontinued theirs. I've been tinting my brows at home this year and just perfecting them with a tinted gel. Merit's Brow 1980 Volumizing Pomade in Brown made its way into my makeup bag a couple of months ago when I was cycling through different brow formulas and this one stuck, in a non-crunchy, comfortable way, of course. This full brow 80s inspired pomade has a flexible, creamy texture, not watery thin or waxy thick, and the larger tapered spoolie really accentuates and lifts hairs and they stay that way. Basically the only bronzer I used all summer in Australia, Merit Bronze Balm. You've heard me talk about this before. It's such a user-friendly, lightweight, sheer, balmy bronzer. It feels foolproof because it blends so seamlessly with fingers and looks so natural and barely there. It comes in five shades. I wear clay for a wash of warmth. This was another favorite last year and it has not moved since my last everyday makeup bag in March. A three-time everyday makeup bag blush champion, that's how consistently I reach for Merit Flush Balm. Peachy Beverly Hills is so pretty, but when Fox launched earlier this year, I knew I'd met my match. It's called Warm Taupe, but there's this perfect sun-kissed, toasty quality to it, almost rosy terracotta, a dreamy, dewy blush that leaves a transparent veil of colour in nine shades now, beautifully buildable with a balmy sheen like you're lit from within. So I wear it high along my cheekbones and a little bit on the bridge of my nose. I've been in a few eyeshadow moods lately, still in post Sophia Ritchie wedding mode, great minimal summer makeup inspiration there, and I've been loving two crayons she wore. I windscreen wiper this Chanel Stilo Ombre et Contour in 12 Contour Claire in my crease and down onto my eyelids to enhance them in a subtle way. Then I sneak Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Eye Color in Fig along my lash line for chocolatey brown definition. Also incredibly creamy and soft, so I only need a light hand. Just a great casual brown combination for a low-key everyday look 
or more elevated and elegant if you build them. Can never say no to warm shadow. Jones Road, the best eyeshadow is a big claim in the name, but a perfectly pleasant powder. Sienna is described as a warm brownish peach with subtle shimmer. Quite a lot of powder happening in the pan when I pick it up with my trusty old MAC 217 brush, but it applies evenly and easily. Sunburnt, toasted peach like a soft sunset. I might be a minimal makeup lover, but I feel comfortable using colourful eyeliner jargon in everyday life, sneaking something bright along my lash line. Canadian 1999 Beauty makes wonderfully creamy multitasking pencils, and red-orange Meleg turns up the heat, smooth enough to smudge and spread as a shadow or stick to a thin swipe of fiery colour. I'm beyond a broken record about Dior mascaras. The whole record player's fallen off the shelf at this point. I still reach for Dior pump and volume mascara all the time because I'm so comfortable with the volume, length and separation, but I'd love to hear which mascara you've been using lately. If you see someone wearing a sheer red strolling around Soho or at a rooftop bar in LA or London this summer, it's probably going to be Merit Signature Lip in Aperitif. So happy they brought this back. It was a holiday shade last year, now available on their website, but just for summer, so don't wait if you're an absolute sheer red addict. You know how I feel about this formula. An ideal, comfortable, sheer, balmy lipstick with a stunning light feel in nine buildable satin shades. Lavenue is my go-to berry brown, but Aperitif is my kind of everyday wearable red. I remember wearing a sheer orange red every day on a summer trip a few years ago, but this is designed to be a true red. Cool enough to look classic and brightening, but warm enough to feel summery too. An incredibly flattering neutral. I recently shared some muted, easy, everyday lip shades that still fit a subtly summer vibe, and Chanel Rouge Coco Bomb in 914 Natural Charm is a warm caramel I throw on for a tiny boost with a satin matte finish. Sophia Ritchie wore a pink to her wedding, but I like this toasty, summery nude. Can't wait to hear what's been in your everyday makeup bag lately. Please leave the details in the comments below. A massive thank you to Merit. It's such a pleasure to partner with a brand that I truly love and use so much of. You can see more of their formulas and shade ranges in action in my big Merit brand overview linked below. They ship to the US, Canada and the UK now, slowly adding more countries and more options to plead with traveling friends to bring it back in their suitcase. I happen to know what Merit's next product launch is, can't say too much. But I'd love to hear what you're hoping to see from them to fill any laid back makeup gaps in your bag. If you're up in the Northern Hemisphere, what are you looking forward to wearing in an everyday way this summer? Any new discoveries or old favourite rediscoveries? Let me know. Thanks for watching. See you next time.